personally, I just don't think it matters anymore. I think that's where we're at right now. No one has made that jump. The target date has been moving. Welcome into Crystal Ball College Football. I'm your host, Grayson Grunhey. For today, we're going to talk a little bit about the Pac-12, some of the quotes that I heard over the last week, uh, talk about kind of what's next for the conference as we get set for the Pac-12 Media Days on Friday. Um, the first thing that I want to kind of dive into right now is, you know, we just had Big 12 Media Days. They came and went. Now the Pac-12 Media Days are here, and there's still no deal. And so it does make you wonder, okay, what's going on? What is what is happening? Um, and I'll get to that a little bit later on. But I want to start with this quote from Brock Heward. Um, so last week, he talked a little bit about perception and how perception does matter, and it couldn't be worse for the Pac-12 conference with the deal still not being here. He also mentioned uh, that the longer this goes on, the more likely teams are to move on, things we've heard in the past. And I 100% agree with the fact that perception does matter. I think Pac-12 supporters would agree with the fact that things don't look great, or at least perception-wise, I think most Pac-12 supporters can understand why many people have criticized uh, George Klyovkov and the Pac-12 conference in general, and can understand why things have been started, rumors have been spread about the Big 12 potentially taking Pac-12 schools. I, I think it's pretty reasonable that most people understand why that is happening. Um, but on the flip side, on this quote that I, I found actually very intriguing, um, anytime myself or anyone says the statement that the longer this goes on, the more likely members are to move on, I, I personally, I just don't think it matters anymore. I think that's where we're at right now. No one has made that jump. The target date has been moving throughout March, April, May, June. Like how many deadlines have we talked about? So to me, I just, I think that it's all irrelevant. The As far as... You know, oh, the longer this moves on, this keeps dragging on. It doesn't really matter because I think it's been pretty clear that the Pac-12 schools are going to wait till a deal is put in front of them. The problem is no deal has been put in front of them. So that there comes the speculation on either A, the deal is really bad or B, everyone knows the numbers in the deal. They're just waiting for something to be finalized and they feel good about it. That's pretty much it. It's A or B in my eyes, is where we're at right now. So as far as a timeline, as far as kind of, you know, putting strict dates on this, I don't think it really matters at this time. And I don't think even the longer this drags on, the more likely anything is to happen, uh, to be honest with you at this point. One thing that Hewer did talk about that I found rather interesting, though, is he was very vocal about how the Pac-12 doesn't care about football or sports and that that's broken trust with the media networks. I find that very interesting. It's something that we've talked about a lot, that some of the schools in Pac-12 aren't really all about football. They're not all about sports. They're about academics. They're about other things, which is fine, but you still have to put an emphasis on football and sports for a media giant to be like, yeah, let's take a chance on the Pac-12 conference. So I found that rather interesting and pretty insightful and also just kind of goes with everything that we've heard and talked about over the last months about the Pac-12 and kind of where they're at right now. So Media Days, Las Vegas on Friday. Um, you know, I, I think this is where we start to get, start to look into, okay, what's the Pac-12 been saying? What's the Big 12 been saying? What have reporters been saying? And every Pac-12 reporter that I've listened to, read about, you know, anyone that's kind of in the industry that I've talked to about this, a lot of people thought this deal was going to happen after the 4th of July, but very shortly after the 4th of July. That was like the target date. That was the rumored date. Uh, John Wilner, John Canzano also felt the exact same way. Uh, they said those things as well, and no deal came. So were the sources off? Is a deal not coming? Is th This is where things get confusing because I feel like both sides, they call each other out for being wrong on certain things, and yet both sides continue to be wrong on just about everything. And that's where kind of this misconception comes in as to, you know, why is a Big 12 reporter saying this about a Pac-12 reporter? Why is a Pac-12 reporter saying this about a Big 12 reporter? And vice versa, when everyone has been off on something at some point. That's where things get really interesting, and that's where things start to get to this whole point of a lot of it is speculation, but you just hope that those speculations are backed with sources. So everything I hear from Wilner and Canzano is that a deal is coming, 
and that they're excited about it and that this is going to be great for the conference. In fact, Canzano on his sub stack, he spoke to a member of the Pac-12 CEO group. And so he spoke with him and here's what was said. So I spoke with him on Thursday and here was the quote, eventually good. Uh, the shift at Disney and other places definitely caused a short-term delay, but it will be worth the wait. That's what the quote was. So Disney, of course, going through a lot of changes, that's caused a bit of a delay here, but the key is, but it will be worth the wait. That's what continues to be said on the Pac-12 side of things, that there is going to be a deal in place. They seem confident that they're going to get to that 31.6 number, if not eclipsing that number. Um, I'm not confident in that. Do I think they can get within the range? Sure, I've heard a lot of things that like, saying, oh yeah, that's easy, easy to get within the range. I've heard the term layup to get into the range of that number. And I, I just, if it was that easy, if it was that that easy of a layup, then I feel like it would have happened by now. I do think that there is some sweating going on on the Pac-12 side. I do think there's optimism, but that doesn't mean this is a sure thing. And anyone saying that I think is wrong at this point. But I do think it's going to be something very interesting to watch is that there's confidence, right? There's confidence. Even, even though Pac-12 Media Day is about to be here and there's still no deal, there's still confidence. I don't know how. I really don't know how there's all this optimism and confidence that they're just going to blow right by the Big 12 with all these unknowns going on. But that's the story that is being told. Uh, also, continue to hear things about San Diego State and SMU joining the Pac-12 they make sense in some regard. I don't necessarily view those as massive additions. San Diego State feels like one that's more of a, hey, if we lose school, San Diego State backfills them. I don't know that they bring a ton just by themselves, but do have good facilities, you know, good city in San Diego. I understand all of that. SMU, on the other hand, you know, the things about, oh, it gets the Pac-12 into Texas. I mean, sure, there's a team in Texas. That's fine. Adds the time zone. That's great. But I, I don't view SMU as this sleeping giant. Uh, I do think they're a worthy addition, but I don't think it's as big as some people are saying by saying, oh, now you get the Dallas and Fort Worth market. Now you're just going to recruit off the charts in Texas. Yeah, I, I don't view it like that at all. But I do think those two make a lot of sense to join the Pac-12. Still a lot of momentum there for them as well. The other news this week that does kind of link in a little bit to the Pac-12 and the media days coming up is the ACC signed a deal with the CW. Found it interesting. Uh, the CW, CW was a name that we'd mentioned a lot as a potential partner for the Pac-12. They went with the ACC kind of out of nowhere, to be honest. It was I, I was not expecting that to happen. Now, one thing I will say is you're going to hear a lot of people emphasize this way too much that, oh, this this hurts Pac-12. I view this as minimal impact at best. I don't think anyone ever thought that the CW was going to be the primary media rights holder. I just felt like they were going to have a portion of Pac-12 content and just be another way for the Pac-12 to gain some money and, and gain some resources there. So again, I don't view this as a big impact. I don't view this as oh, now the Pac-12 is in huge trouble or anything along those lines. Um, I just found it as more an interesting note and something that seems like it's probably off the table for the Pac-12 unless they're able to come to kind of a similar agreement as the ACC, which I don't believe will happen at this time. Most realistic scenario right now is that we still don't hear anything. I, I kind of view it that way. I don't think we're going to hear much this weekend as far as concrete news. I think we'll hear quotes. We'll get some sort of, I think maybe we'll kind of feel out what direction they're going, but I don't think that we're going to have any solid information as to when this is going to get done, how it's going to get done, what the deal is going to look like. I don't think we're going to get that on Friday, uh, but hopefully it's coming soon. Uh, the Pac-12, obviously it's been a waiting game. George Klyovkov, I, I don't know what's taking so long, but I do feel like, you know, it's his job to make sure that he puts a deal in front of his teams that makes sense for the conference. So hopefully he's working on that. Hopefully it comes soon because I think we all just want to know what is going to happen with the Pac-12, the Big 12, ACC, all the conferences, college football in general, as this has continued to be a crazy, crazy, feels like year-long process for the Pac-12, but very excited. We'll talk more about this next week, recap Pac-12 Media Days and everything 
like that. But thanks for listening. This has been Crystal Ball College Football.